Today we're interviewing Brother Dave Quigley. Mm -hmm. And where are you from? I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Oh. What was life like in, in Cleveland, Ohio? Well, we were in the suburbs. I have a brother and a sister. Uh, my brother is a twin. He's uh, 10 minutes younger than I am, and a sister. Uh, initially, we were just on the edge of the inner city, and then we moved out when I was six years old to the suburbs. And the suburbs had a whole section which was still forested, it still had trees. And the road we were on used to be part of the stage road into Cleveland. Two, just before we were in high school, we had lots of area to run around and play in. And behind the houses on the road was a stretch of woods that would probably go 10, 12 acres. And it's all behind all these houses. So, And some of us, the kids lived in some of those houses. So we cut through the woods to get to their house and have lunch there and go someplace else. And then we played baseball, softball in the streets on one of the side streets. What made you think about the religious life? I enjoyed uh, working with the brothers. I was involved in the school quite a bit. One group was called the Service Club. And um, we did in-school service projects. They come up around school that meet lots of bodies like setting up for an assembly, you have to set up all these chairs. You know. At the end of the year, he'd give us a big steak dinner. <laughs> Were they Marinists? Yeah, with the Marinists at the school. I said, oh, I'll give this a try, see how it goes. And I liked it. I'm still here. You're still here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Went off to Novitiates, then down to the University of Dayton to study. Then I started teaching in Dayton, Ohio. I was there for eight years. I then and during the seventh year, I was asked if I would consider going to Australia and helping out. In Australia, I started off, when I first got there, I had Australian history with ninth graders. I had a, a different history class with the tenth graders. I did a religion class with the ninth, tenth, eleventh grade. I did the sport or phys ed with the seventh, eighth, and ninth grade. Um, I had about six different hats I was wearing. I was also this organizer for senior school trips. So I got to see the uh, Uluru or Ayers Rock in the middle of Australia three times. Also did the Great Barrier Reef, a few other trips. You went sightseeing. Yeah, with usually 40 kids and three other teachers. So I've taught American history to American kids, world history to American kids, Irish kids, and Australian kids, and Australian history to Australian kids, and Irish history to Irish kids. And then I taught geography in all three places as well. In Ireland, when I got to Ireland, I was doing more religion than I was history, but I was doing all of the above anyway, because in a smaller school, you wear a lot more hats. And I went to Ireland in 88, and I was there until 2001. Um, and I had a nice arrangement with the academic dean. I would do any tests, any time, when I was going to be there for the summer. But the summer I was going back, I wanted the very first test on the very first day. So I could get it corrected, turn the grades in, get a good shower, get a good meal, get on the plane, and come to Hawaii and repeat the day. <laughs> I'd arrive about between 10 and 11 on the day I had just finished the exam. <laughs> so I would repeat the day and I get uh, our chaminade at Honolulu and I would get ready to go to the beach. I'd walk down to Waikiki, <laughs> go for a swim, wander around, and walk back up. So what does the future look like for you? Um, I'll be going to San Antonio. I'm actually going back to the community I was in before I came here. Um, I will be helping with getting the older brothers to 
medical appointments and dental appointments and therapy and all those type of things. Do you have any favorite passage or Bible stories that you would like to share with us? Well, the, the one from Corinthians about love and all the whole definition. Um, remind me what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> and I think that, 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 to me, that's the essence of what we're about. And that's one of my favorite passages. Do you have anything else you would like to say to um... Just a thank you to everybody who's been so kind and generous to me over the, my brief time here.